Hello friends, happy Thursday. Hope you're doing well. And, uh, I know some of us are a little sad that the, the summer is coming to an end, but praise God for the weeks we had and, and hopefully the enjoyment of beautiful weather. Uh, these days are certainly very beautiful and September will be as well, but, but give thanks. Don't mourn the loss of summer, but delight in all the wonderful experiences you had. I'm down here in our, our school. We had some back to school nights for pre-K and kindergarten parents. Very excited to see uh, new folks back in the school. Uh, our enrollment's doing really, really well. Uh, grateful that uh, sister was able to get a full faculty. So we're opening school next week with all the teachers we need. Of course, we still need volunteers, so please do. Please do consider volunteering. You can see her email later on here. If she hasn't gotten back to you, she will. It's just been a crazy, crazy couple weeks, but we're looking forward to having many volunteers helping us at recess, helping us at beginning and end of school year to keep our kids safe. And if you're looking for another way to help our kids and help Catholic education, this tuition tax credit program. If you have a tax liability to Pennsylvania of over $1,000, business or personal, we can turn that tax dollars, instead of paying taxes, it could be a scholarship for our kids. So please reach out to me, we'll talk. I uh, had a great meeting last night um, with, uh, this was on Tuesday night, with uh, the Next Generation team. We, we bid farewell and, and prayed uh, gratitude over the, the envisioning team who got us to our pastoral plan. And now we have uh, six new wonderful folks, plus an assistant who I'll introduce you to next week, uh, who are helping me with the implementation. So we're gonna move this parish to where we need to be uh, to raise up a new generation of disciples, people who are able to share faith, people who are able to talk to others about Jesus. Uh, friends, it's the only way it's gonna happen. Father Fong and uh, Deacon Moser, we're, we're doing our best here on the campus and we're trying to reach out to people, but we need you and I think you know that. Last uh, Sunday, we, we, we read and Saturday night, we heard the gospel of Peter professing his faith. I had a conversation with someone this week just about how tough faith is, how tough it is sometimes to believe. And I'm grateful that in the midst of all the craziness in the world, all the difficulties in the church, you remain a person of faith, or at least you're trying to remain a person of faith. And, and we're here to help you. I, I know it's difficult. It was difficult for Peter. It's been difficult for every saint in every generation. And, and so let's rely on each other, I invite you to Bible study, maybe attending the RCA classes, even if you already have your sacraments. Uh, Father Fong and, and the deacons and I are here to have a conversation with you. Um, again, it's sometimes a struggle, especially if we're suffering, especially if there's difficult things in our past and traumas. But the one thing I know for sure, God is with us. God is with you and he wants to walk with you. Um, people have asked about a collection for the folks in Hawaii who have been destroyed by the fires. We're not going to do a collection here, um, but I, I do have in this email uh, and will be in the bulletin an address for the Catholic uh, charities down in Hawaii. You can send a donation directly and I have a link in this email uh, so that you can support those folks as they rebuild. And uh, the diocese will use some of it obviously to rebuild their churches um, and, and their infrastructure, but also to help so many people who have been displaced. Uh, this weekend is uh, the first Sunday, so we've got adoration of the Blessed Sacrament from one to five. Come on in, sit with Jesus. Uh, we've got a great group of people who come, especially on Mondays. Remember, this Monday, it's just in the morning from 9 to 10 because of Labor Day. But come on Sunday afternoon. Make the time. Come sit with Jesus. Come read the Bible. Come write him a letter. Come and just look at him. Five minutes, ten minutes, a half hour. Come be with Jesus. I look forward to seeing you there. Thanks for being you.